In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a Minecraft server on your PC. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Minecraft server files, and you can easily do so by opening up any web browser. Then please go ahead and look up Minecraft server files just like so. Then go to the official Minecraft.net website right over here, and then over here it is going to allow you to download the Minecraft server file for the latest version, which at the time of recording this video is 1.21.8. So go ahead and just press on that just like so, and now it is going to begin installing. Now just for full transparency purposes, this is not a 24-7 server. It is only going to work when you're online playing, and also it can be very confusing to set up. Unfortunately, this process is not very beginner friendly, and they make things way more complicated than it needs to be. And this server is going to be powered through your internet, so that means anybody who joins your Minecraft server is able to see your IP and they can get personal information like your address and stuff like that, which can obviously pose a serious risk. And also, it really does require you to have a higher end device. So if you have a lower end device or maybe your PC is getting a little bit old, then you may have trouble running your server smoothly. You may experience lag and stuff like that. But if you guys don't want any of those problems and you want a simple and premium solution, then consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a unlimited slot 24 seven server with you and your friends. Simple Game Hosting doesn't need your Wi-Fi in order to run properly. So you don't have to worry about lag or anything like that. And in fact, it is so powerful that it can support huge mod packs like Pixelmon, Cobblemon, etc. And of course you are able to easily add things like mods, plugins, and mod packs with the click of a single button. And Simple Game Hosting is incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials along with 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish creating your Minecraft server. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if you want an affordable and premium solution, check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just drag in, drop the server file to your desktop just like so. So, yep, here it is. And now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just right click anywhere on your desktop, then go ahead and press on new and folder. And we're just going to be calling it server on PC right over here. You can name the folder whatever you want. We're just going to be doing this for organization purposes. Okay. So once you went ahead and named it, please go ahead and open up this folder. And by default, it is going to be empty. So now what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the server file inside of here, just like so. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and double click on it. And when you do it, it is actually going to generate all of these different files over here. Now, if you just double click and you notice that none of these files are actually loading in, then what could be happening is that you don't have Java Edition installed on your device. To do that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look up Java Download Oracle right over here, then go to the official oracle.com website, scroll down, make sure to select on JDK21, and then from here, you're able to go ahead and select on your operating system. So it's really important that you have at least Java Java 21 or above in order to actually host a server. It's really important that you do so. So over here, go ahead and select on Windows, then select on this option that says X64 installer, and then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard, and you may need to restart your PC in order for the changes to be applied. So again, just keep that in mind. All right, so once you went ahead and installed Java, please go ahead and return back to this folder. What you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and find the file called eula.txt and then go ahead and press on it. And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the last line and where it says eula equals false, change that to say equals true. So please go ahead and do so. Then you guys can go ahead and press on file, then go ahead and press on save in order to save the necessary changes. Then go ahead and close out of your notepad. And then while you're here, you guys can actually adjust these server properties as well. So you can go ahead and open up this file. And for me, it actually did open up CS visual code, but if you have any text editor on your device, it is just gonna open that up. It, the process is gonna be the same, but you can go ahead and change things like the difficulty, allow flight, nether, etc. So you can make all the necessary changes over here. But anyways, once you're done making those changes, go ahead and select on the server.jar file. Go ahead and just double click on it, just like so. And now this time it is gonna go ahead and actually begin your Minecraft server. All right, there you go. It is now gonna open up this window right over here. And as you able to tell, it is gonna say preparing and stuff like that. So this is the console and the console is basically a written record of all the activity in your server. Anybody who joins the server, anybody who types something in the chat, et cetera, is gonna appear right over here. So now all you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and wait for the server to actually begin 
right over here. All right, now that your server is done, let's go ahead and join it. So please open up the Minecraft launcher and load into the version of Minecraft that you made your server for. So for this video, we made it for Minecraft 1.21.8. So that means we need to load into Minecraft 1.21.8 right over here. All right, then once you're here in Minecraft, please go ahead and select on multiplayer, then go ahead and press on add server and where it says server address, go ahead and type in localhost right over here, then go ahead and press on done then scroll down and you will now notice that our server is actually open and all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on join servers just like this and then there you go we are now in our server go ahead and see if it does work uh go ahead and load in some chunks just to prepare your server and stuff like that so now it is time for the tricky part and that is to make your server accessible to other people so at the moment only we are allowed to join our own server but if you want your friends to join your server which you know is the most important part then you're going to need to do a process called port forwarding now i'm not going to lie to you guys port forwarding can be a little bit tricky at first but in the description down below i'm going to be linking a full in-depth tutorial showing you guys how to port forward and it is actually made by a good friend of mine the breakdown xyz so shout out to you my man and he explains it really wonderfully if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial